everyone. Welcome to uh, another lecture of quantum mechanics. So the next is uh, unbound state and a bound state. Okay, this is a very important concept. Uh, so bound state. See, we'll look at the classical uh, bound state first. Okay, and unbound state. Okay, Cla bound state and unbound state. So, what does it mean? So, what we'll do in we'll first look at the classical picture. Okay, we'll look at the classical picture. When I say classical, it means uh, not the quantum mechanical picture. Okay, so if you have a say a hill, if you have a physical hill, uh, okay, it looks like this. If you have a physical hill, and say this this is at height say h small h and say this is at height capital h okay so let's draw this axis this is the height this gives you the height okay and this is uh, the distance from this uh, point okay so uh, what and let's say this this uh, this is some uh, potential energies the potential energy is given by mgh okay so this is say mgh small h so which is equal to say this is uh, 3 joule at this point let's it's an example all right it's a, it's not a calculated value so this is uh, say v2 this is the at say 5 joule 5 joule i'm saying that by h this is m g capital h and this is m g small h okay so uh, what happens like if you have a ball if you have a ball now this let's say this is the minimum this is the minimum energy like this is say the we can take it to be zero right okay we can say this p to be zero at this point all right and this is the hill this is the hill the hill and valley design like this okay so uh, if you go above you the energy the potential energy becomes this if you go in this side then the potential energy becomes this and con it becomes constant after that okay and if you are here the potential energy is zero so if you have a ball which is kept here say this energy is 2 joule and purely potential energy because it's not moving when you leave it from here so it will go at maximum at this place so this is x1 this it will reach up to here okay at the same position at the same height because we are assuming there is no friction no friction and no uh, dissipation of uh, energy all right so uh, no dissipation so energy is conserved so initially the potential energy was this finally the potential energy will come up to here and then again it will keep on uh, moving like this okay it will be keep on uh, oscillating like this all right so uh, say if the energy of the uh, this thing is less than this uh, in, in within this range okay within this range where the the let's say the case one let's write it here case one if the energy is the it lies between v minimum uh, energy of and this energy we are saying that this is potential energy here um, purely potential energy and it lies between the minimum energy and the, this maximum energy okay it's say it's a two joule here it was three joule it could be two point five it could be one joule okay it can be one point five joule but if it's the it's in this re region then what happens is whenever you leave it from here it will go to this point again go to this point so the it it will not go beyond this ball will not go beyond these two points. Okay, so this, so this is say x1, this is x1, this is x2. So we see that the x1 and x2 are said to be two classical turning points. Are called classical turning points. All right. And this class region the regions where it cannot enter all right x1 and this region this region where x is greater than x2 uh, or x is less than x1 okay uh, so this is a negative value okay so uh, if, if x is greater than x2 these are called are called classical classically forbidden region classically forbidden because the particle cannot go beyond this the ball cannot go beyond this region okay it cannot go above this. if you if it's an initial energy here it cannot can never enter this region because in the in at this point what happens is we know that this energy total energy of a uh, mechanical energy of the ball will be given by potential energy plus kinetic energy so 
in this region if it say enters this point this if it tries to enter this region what happens is the if you write down the kinetic energy the kinetic energy is given by e minus potential energy okay so what happens in this region in this region what happens is the potential energy becomes more than the kinetic energy potential energy becomes more than the kinetic energy and which implies if you just see if you draw the line here if if it tries to enter this region in this region the initial energy this so this is the energy right this is the energy line this this is less than this this energy line becomes less than the potential energy so that means this implies that the kinetic energy is negative and which is absurd right this is absurd kinetic energy is always a positive quantity which is defined by half mv square always always greater than zero okay so this is not possible so whenever we in any region where we calculate this uh, this thing that the kinetic energy if you calculate and comes out to be negative then that region is classically forbidden the particle can never be there classically now this is an interesting thing that in quantum there is some twist okay but uh, let's complete this part so if we have a energy say the ball energy has uh, the if we give a energy uh, say we have the potential energy as well as we give some kinetic energy okay so and the total energy becomes uh, more than the uh, energy at v1 okay so let's say the energy is between v1 and v2 okay example say the energy is 4 joule now what will happen now at this point it will it will start start it can it can go uh, above this okay because if it reaches this point if it if it starts from here if it's a 4 it's a 4 joule okay so it it will have a kinetic energy 1 1 joule it will move freely in this region okay it will not stop and if if in this region what happens is we can if we draw the graph again and see for ourselves what is happening here if you have a higher energy than this so this is uh, this is v2 which is 5 joule and this is uh, v1 which is 3 joule okay so what is happening here so if we have a energy which is more than this uh, say 4 4 joule okay so what happens if it comes the particle is here so this particle will have a kinetic energy of 1 joule because it the total energy is 4 joule the potential energy here is 5 3 joule so the kinetic energy will be 1 joule here and it can move freely in this region okay it it will not be stopped anywhere but in when it comes to this point so this point say this this region is 4 joule this is the maximum uh, potential energy here this is where it stops because it become if the, the potential energy becomes here becomes 4 joule now if it tries to go further it will never be in uh, real case but if it say it goes further the kinetic energy becomes negative out here okay so uh, it will return from this point so this is x3 and um, so what we have is the x3 is the x3 is the classical turning point okay and the particle is free to move in this region the particle is free to move the particle is free to move in region x less than 0 right it can move here it can come here it can come in fact uh, um, if, if it's free to move uh, uh, for any thing which is uh, less than x3 okay not x than 0 it's free to move in this region uh, it can move anywhere beyond this okay it has a turning point at this point because it you know it, it cannot go beyond so this this is this region becomes uh, classically forbidden for this value of energy similarly if you have a case 3 this is case 2 right this is case 1 this is case 3 so what happens if we take energy which is greater than v2 say for example uh for example it is e is equal to 6 joules so what happens in this case so this becomes uh, the bound state in classical mechanics where this is uh, between these two things uh, between the limits here uh, all right uh, it's uh, between the minimum and uh, another uh, it's bounded on both sides okay and in this thing this is unbound this uh, situation is unbound and uh, if you look at this thing that example if you take this thing so in this case if this is the energy and if you uh, see the graph uh, let's make it a smaller graph uh, what, this is 
this was in if if this is energy level uh, this was 3 joule right and this was uh, 5 5 joule if it's 6 joule then this the particle is free to move in this region with uh, the kinetic energy here becomes the ke becomes uh, 3 joule and uh, this thing um, in this case in if the particle comes in uh, at this point this the kinetic energy here becomes 1 joule and it's free to move it moves uh, on both sides so there is no there are no classical turning points so we can write there are no classical turning points particle is free to move particle is free to move anywhere okay like for all x it can free freely move uh, anywhere for all x okay so it has it has not uh, restricted to one point it can move anywhere in this they can come here it can go there it, it, it can move anywhere in the space okay now coming to quantum mechanical bound states and unbound states quantum mechanical quantum mechanical bound state and unbound state right so what happens here like initially i showed you a real graph real picture all right so that represented the real hill okay it could be instead of uh, drawing a real hill we could simply plot the potential energy at each point like this so we'll instead of drawing a hill we just uh, represents represent the potential energy okay uh, at each point uh, that is vx and this is uh, this is x and this is uh, this is uh, v1 and this is uh, v2 all right and this is say the energy of the particle at some point okay and uh, these are the like, like some like an x uh, turning point this is the v minimum now instead of using the height in that case we had just we are just simply using the potential energy thing and we call it potential in quantum mechanics the potential energy is called potential okay so uh, so in this thing uh, this this vx is actually the potential energy which is uh, the quantum mechanical phase is uh, actually referred to as it as potential okay so don't get confused uh, in the electromagnetic theory we know that potential and potential energy are different things but in this case the potential if you see the potential is same as potential energy so uh, if you look at the cases here so what happens here case 1 we had taken that in in the earlier case we had used a ball uh, it's uh, going over the hill okay so in this case uh, we just talk about that if the particle has energy between v minimum and v1 okay if it's uh, in this region it's less than this like the energy is between these two okay so so e we say that e is greater than vx for some values of x for some values of x okay means uh, in this region for some values of x the v v this is a v okay this is the v curve right this is this is vx this is actually vx right so if we say that when th this case arises we say that the vx is the energy is greater than vx for some values of x okay so for this this state this there are two classical turning points you can see in the graph also the particle cannot uh, enter this regions but classically uh, quantum mechanically it can enter we will see in quantum tunneling uh, okay that uh, there is certain probability uh, there is a finite probability of the particle entering the non classical uh, the classically forbidden region so there are two classical turning points it can the, uh, the because the kinetic energy here becomes negative in this region for this uh, energy of the particle and this particle this state this state 
uh, of particle is called bound state. All right. So, and the E is the energy of the particle. E is the energy, total energy of the particle. All right. And this E is total energy of the particle. Now, there's a very important concept that uh, what are the bound state, uh, bound state and uh, unbound state look like. Okay. When we do, do we say about it is a bound state, it's an unbound state. So for this thing, for a bound state, we need that this energy value should be between some uh, finite uh, potential and the minimum value of the potential. Or, or, or in the question, it might be mentioned that E is greater than Vx for some values of x. All right. So uh, if you go for case uh, two, okay, where we say that this uh, the energy of the particle is somewhere between V1 and V2. Okay, it's, it's somewhere, say, it's in this region. Say, this is the E. All right. So, in this case, we see that we have already seen in classical case also, there's a, there's a one, there's one uh, turning point, one classical turning point. One classical turning point. All right. And the particle is free the particle is free to move okay it's in this region like it's free to move uh, like, like um, in in below this region this turning point okay so let's label it to be x3 okay it's free to move less than x at any place less than x3 okay so and this state is known as bound unbound state this state is known as unbound or scattered state. Unbound or scattered state. All right. So similarly, we go for case three. Case three is that that the energy of the particle, total energy of the particle, let's take it to be greater than V2. Now, in this case, if we, the energy is like higher than this, say this is the energy in the third case, say this was uh, the first case, this was the second case, this is the third case. So the energy of the particle is, the, in this case, is so high that, uh, that there's no classical turning point. Everywhere the energy, kinetic energy is positive, right? The kinetic energy, here the kinetic energy is this, and it's positive, this is greater than zero for this region. And in this also, this is the kinetic energy for this, which is again greater than zero. All right, for both the cases. So there is no classical turning point. All right, and the particle is free to move. Particle is free to move anywhere. Is free to move anywhere. Okay, now. In this case, uh, we see that the E is greater than Vx for all values of x. All right. And this state is also known as, uh, this state is, this, sorry. This state is also called unbound state or scattered state. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. You, if you find these uh, lectures useful, then please uh, like, like, subscribe, and uh, share with your friends.